This is an information video. This is metal bridge rectifier. This is exactly the same implementation of diode bridge rectifier. Its number is KBPC 2510. 25 means 25 ampere it can handle and 10 means 10 into 100 volt that means 1000 volt it can handle. You can see one pin is marked as AC. That pin and its diagonal pin are input AC terminals. In some rectifiers they will mark both pin as AC but here they have marked only one pin so the other pin is the diagonal pin. The positive marked pin is the positive terminal of the bridge rectifier and its diagonal pin is the negative terminal. They have perfectly packed the bridge rectifier inside this aluminium case. This aluminium case will act as the heatsink of this bridge rectifier. This hole is used for inserting the screw for tightening the heatsink to this bridge rectifier. Do not forget to apply heatsink paste or heatsink component between this aluminium case and the heatsink. Normally a diode is burned out because of the increase in PN junction temperature. Since heat is dissipated perfectly through aluminium casing this can work long period. If your load is 15 ampere and you are using 25 ampere bridge rectifier then heatsink is not required. Each pin length is higher and because of that you need to put extra holes in the PCB for fixing this. You can see you need to put extra 3 to 4 holes per pin in the PCB. Then only this bridge rectifier will be perfectly fit in the PCB. If you are fixing the heatsink in the bridge rectifier then fix the heatsink before you fix the bridge rectifier in the PCB. After fixing the heatsink you fix the bridge rectifier in the PCB and solder it. Do I really need to use this metal bridge rectifier in my circuit? Then my answer will be not necessary. We can use our primitive diode rectifiers in our circuit. This is a 10 ampere rectifier diode. By using 4 such diode you can make a 10 ampere bridge rectifier only. In order to handle more current you need to connect two diodes in parallel so that your bridge rectifier will handle 20 amperes. So for making 20 ampere bridge rectifier you need 8 10 ampere diodes. Now we will compare the space utilization of a 25 ampere metal bridge rectifier and a 20 ampere parallelly connected diode bridge rectifier. Let's see which one is conserving more space. You can clearly see two parallelly connected diodes are occupying more height than metal bridge rectifier. Then think of the space utilization when eight diodes are connected as bridge rectifier. And one more thing that this diode can handle at the most 20 ampere only. No perfect heat dissipation and thus it cannot handle more current than specified on it. On the other hand, metal bridge can handle more current than specified in it, in it with the help of a good heat sink. So altogether we can conclude that metal bridge rectifiers are cheaper, space conserved, long life and high current capacity and easily available in various current capacity such as 5 ampere, 10 ampere, 15 ampere, 20 ampere, 25 ampere, 35 ampere, 50 ampere, 100 ampere and so on. If you have any doubt or suggestions related to this video, then please comment on this video. If you believe that this video is useful, then please click like button and also share this to your friends. Please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this. That will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you. This is Tech Insert signing off. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care.